Hi, JP Fournier of The Movie Jerks here, coming to you on day 28 of Action April, the month where I watch a new action film I've never seen every day for the full month. And let's see what we get today. So yesterday we had uh, the Godfrey Ho film, and today we're going to get uh, High Heat. When a local mafia shows up to burn down her restaurant, Anna, a chef with a meticulous past, defends her turf and proves her knife skills both in and out of her kitchen. Okay, um, that's a 2023 film. Or 2022? There we go. Uh, day 28, I'm watching High Heat. High Heat is a modest action comedy working with the common plot of a small group defending one location, whether it's a castle, fort, or in this instance, a French restaurant, from an overpowering number of assailants trying to get in and take over. When done correctly, this familiar plot can be successful. With our protagonist working with limited resources, minimal support, and a decreasing level of stamina, our villains, on the other hand, continue to increase in numbers, weaponry and ammo, and understand most of the protagonist's limitations. You're telling me we all showed up for one woman? I'm telling you I got 10,000 bucks for the person who kills that goddamn Russian. We're dealing with Russian? Technically Russian, just the one, Anna. What keeps our protagonist still fighting is skills and intelligence. And High Heat understands these steps to make the film continuously level up in tension, starting from a small attack and progressively increasing in intensity until the final climax. However, this film does switch gears near the finale, and it felt like a little bit of a cheat instead of following through with what the rest of the film had been building up to this point. Now, don't get me wrong, there is no surprise reveal that comes out of nowhere, nor is there a plot twist that ignores the rest of the film's information. Yet it did break up the momentum, and this switch could have been prolonged a bit in order to have a more satisfying final battle. While High Heat did get a theatrical release, it feels more suited for streaming services. It's not a groundbreaking script. It's very simplistic and only runs for 84 minutes. And it can be argued that it's basically a one location film. It takes place at one night, and it also doesn't appear to be setting up any franchise or movie universe. Hello. Are you okay? It stays simple, and that's refreshing. The characters do have some witty banter, I'm going to kill her. Okay, I don't think you're in the right mindset for this. I don't think killing should be personal. It's, it's like plumbing. It's a, just a job. Okay, well then shut up and do your job. All right, Tom? Seriously, how long is this going to take? It's going to take what it's going to take. Come on, down, Tom. Okay. And the film is nicely casted, especially with our two leads, Olga Kirilenko and Don Johnson who deliver enough charm and charisma to keep you rooting for them right to the end. The action sequences are quite serviceable towards the story. Sure, they're no game changers like a John Wick film, but they're also not a CGI mess that's void of realism like you would get in a Marvel film. The action stays very grounded which aim is to deliver some dark humor. <laughs> High Heat probably won't make anyone's top 10 list this year. That's because it is an okay film. And you know what? That's okay. Listen to me. You better get out of there right now before we torch the place. Or your opening night is going to be your last night. I doubt it. She hung up on me, Ray. And there you have it. Day 28 of Action April. This time I watched High Heat. What other action films direct for video or direct for streaming did you enjoy? Let us know in the comments section. 
If you're curious about other films I am watching this month, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. And for more information about The Movie Jerks, you can go to www.themoviejerks.ca.